Welcome to this comprehensive tutorial where I'll demonstrate how to root any OnePlus device without requiring a computer. That's right, by following this guide, you'll successfully unlock the bootloader and gain root access on any OnePlus smartphone using only mobile devices. No ADB, fast boot on a computer, or complicated PC setups necessary. We'll accomplish everything directly from your phone with just a few specialized applications and a USB Type-C to Type-C cable. Before we proceed, gather these essential items. A secondary Android phone to execute fast boot commands. Your target OnePlus phone for rooting. The appropriate firmware for your specific device. Details on downloading coming up. A USB Type-C to Type-C cable for device connection. For this demonstration, I'm utilizing a OnePlus 6T. Though it's an older model, the methodology remains consistent across the OnePlus lineup, making this tutorial applicable to any OnePlus device you wish to root. The initial step requires acquiring the correct firmware for your OnePlus device. Set aside your OnePlus phone temporarily and prepare your secondary Android device for downloading the firmware. You can obtain firmware files from several reputable sources, all of which I've included in the video description for your convenience. When selecting firmware, ensure you match the exact build number with your current system. You can verify this in your device's settings under About Phone. This step is crucial as installing mismatched firmware can potentially soft brick your device. After securing the firmware, you'll need to download a specialized repository from GitHub. This repository contains a Python tool originally developed by Bjorn Kerler for extracting OPPO and OnePlus firmware components. I've modified this tool to specifically extract only the boot image rather than the entire firmware package. Links to both my modified version and the original repository are available in the video description. Once you've downloaded both the firmware and the decryptor tool, extract each archive separately. Navigate to your extracted OnePlus firmware folder where you'll locate an .ops file. This is the firmware package, identifiable by its substantially larger file size. Transfer this file to the decryptor folder containing all the extraction scripts. Now download and install Termux from the link provided in the description. This powerful terminal emulator effectively functions as a Linux environment on your Android device. Since our firmware extraction tool utilizes Python, Termux provides the necessary runtime environment. I'm clearing the app data to provide a clean demonstration. Launch Termux and run the following commands in sequence. First, update the package repositories. Type apt update. Next, grant storage access permissions. Using Termux, set up storage. Once done, type ls, you'll notice a storage folder. Navigate into it using cd command. Navigate using cd and ls commands. You should see your device's download directory. Navigate to the folder containing our decryptor tool and firmware file. With our environment prepared, we'll now install the dependencies required to run the extraction tool. Install Python 3. <laughs> Using this command, apac deinstall Python 3. When prompted, type Y to confirm. Make the extraction scripts executable. Using this command, once done, install the required Python packages. Using this command, This will take a moment as it installs all necessary dependencies. Once done, type python3 ops crypto.py decrypt followed by your firmware name and hit enter. Follow these commands precisely as demonstrated. I've streamlined this process to be as straightforward as possible. Upon successful execution, you'll notice a new folder named extract created in the directory. Exit Termux and open your file manager. Navigate to the firmware folder and locate the extract directory. Inside, you'll find the extracted boot image file. 
If you find multiple files like initboot.img and boot.img, use the init boot file. Now we need to modify this boot image with Magix to incorporate root access. Install the Magix application from the link provided. Launch Magisk, select Install, then choose Select and Patch a File, Navigate to and select the boot image we extracted earlier. Magix will process and patch the file. Once completed, the patched image will be saved to your device's download folder. Let's return to your OnePlus device that's awaiting rooting. Access Settings, then About Phone. Locate the build number entry and tap it repeatedly until you receive notification that developer options have been enabled. You'll find these newly accessible options under System Settings. Within Developer Options, enable three critical settings. OEM Unlocking, USB Debugging, and Advanced Reboot, if available on your device. With these options activated, reboot your device into fast boot mode. If Advanced Reboot isn't available, power off your phone completely, then simultaneously press and hold the power and volume down buttons until the OnePlus logo appears. Release the power button while continuing to hold volume down until the device enters fast boot mode. With your OnePlus now in fast boot mode, return to your secondary phone containing the extracted boot image. Download and install the Bugjaeger application. Launch Bugjaeger and connect both devices using your USB Type-C to Type-C cable. I initially attempted using a Motorola phone as the host device, but encountered connection issues. Switching to a Samsung phone resolved this problem. If you experience similar difficulties, consider trying a different host device. Once successfully connected, which you can verify via the connection indicator, tap the floating action button to access the terminal interface. First, we'll unlock the bootloader by entering Fastboot OEM Unlock. After executing this command, your OnePlus device will display a confirmation prompt. Use the volume buttons to navigate and the power button to select Unlock the Bootloader. Following bootloader unlocking, your device will display security warnings during boot. This is entirely normal and expected behavior. Your phone will automatically perform a factory reset and restart. After your device completes the initial setup process, return to fast boot mode. We'll now flash the Magix patched boot image. Reconnect both devices, open Bug Jaeger's terminal, and type fast boot flash boot, then select the patched boot image file. Once done, execute this command. After the flash completes successfully, reboot your device. If you don't see a reboot option in fast boot mode, simply enter fast boot reboot in the terminal. Important note on AB slot devices. While this device is rebooting, let me share crucial information. Most modern OnePlus devices implement an AB slot system for boot images. Since the demonstration device is older, I use the simplified fast boot flash boot command. For newer devices, you can verify slot configuration by running fast boot get var all. If you see active slot information in the output, your device utilizes the AB partition scheme. In this case, you must flash the boot image to both slots using these commands. Fast boot flash boot hyphen A, then patched boot image and fast boot, flash boot hyphen B, then patched, boot image. Use same patched boot images for both slots. After your phone restarts, complete the initial setup process. You'll notice a Magix placeholder icon in your app drawer. Launch it to download the necessary components. Open Magix and follow any additional setup prompts as demonstrated. 
finally restart your device once more, and congratulations, you've successfully rooted your OnePlus device. This concludes our tutorial on rooting OnePlus devices without a PC. If you found this guide helpful, please support the channel by hitting the like button and subscribing for more technical content. All necessary files, tools, and resources mentioned are linked in the video description for your convenience. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.